What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. We're doing electric fans. I gave in. I mean, I was always going to give in, but here's the video where I give in. So, we got some dual fans and these came out of a 2007 Ford Focus. So, you're probably wondering why I didn't do contour fans. I did tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of research and so contour fans are accepted as one of the best, you know, and for dual fans anyway. So I, I just kept looking though, I looked in the forums and some guy, George, I don't know, it was in the Turbo Fox body form. And he swore by these fans, said they were the coolest fans, they pulled the most, everything. And then I started looking and there's not really a CFM rating on these fans, I couldn't find anything. But I did find out that they pull quite a bit of amps. Ford puts a 50 amp fuse on these things for both the fans, so 25 amps per fan, which is pretty substantial so uh, I'm gonna go with these fans see how they do it just it seemed like a good choice to me the other cool part about this are these guys so these are fan controllers and they're from a 2009 Ford Fusion both of them and you're probably wondering what the heck it's just the controller but those controllers allow me with the Meg Squirt 3 to pulse width modulate these fans so I can have them running at duty cycles and not just I flip them on and they just go crazy you know it's not 100% all the time it can be it varies I can have it at if the car is running at 180 I have the fans at like 25% just chill like barely pulling in but if it gets hotter I can turn up to like 75% duty cycle or 100 or 90% or whatever and it'll start bringing tons of air in so I did lots of research about that and I will have the settings for that actual, this will just be the wiring and everything for them. But uh, these are really cool there. So the Ford Fusion or the Corvette C6 fan controller, they're the same part. So I couldn't find an amp rating and the way these things are set up is kind of funky and we'll get into it. But these fan controllers um, don't run with relays. I just want to put that out there right off the bat. I got it for 20 bucks, each one for 10 bucks at a junkyard. So it's very, a lot less expensive than a fan controller, <laughs> I must say. But we're gonna get these things installed and that's gonna be the main part of the video and then I'll have the fan controllers in probably a separate video or something or other how I set them up, but I will show the wiring of them and all that good stuff. So the first thing we gotta do is mount these things and take the old stuff off. So I'm gonna get the old fan clutch off of this thing and the shroud and then we'll start mocking this thing up and seeing how I can mount it. I got some ideas of how I'm gonna mount it. I'm not using the zip ties, I don't like the zip ties. All right, let's get into this video. So just looking at these fans, I got it cut off with the pigtail with it still, but they're two 12 inch fans. The difference between these and the contour is, the contour is a little bit um, longer up and down, but the same width uh, and there's a little different fan placement. And the 05 to 07 are a little bit different. So the focus fans changed between like 2000 and 2004 and then 2005 to 2007 they're two different kinds of fans and the 05 to 07 are supposed to pull a little bit more and actually if you go on to AutoZone those the 03 fans are like 100 bucks and the, but these are like 250 and so there must be some funky going on with these and it's kind of the reason why I, I lean towards them because I think there's something about these particular fans 05 to 07 Focus fans that are special. It cost me 80 bucks at Pick Apart, because Pick Apart raised their price. If there's two fans on it, each fan's 40 bucks. Not one, it, it got me going. But so 80 bucks for the pigtail, everything that came with the fans. out I mean I test fit these fans in there there's tons of room and they fit actually really well I don't gotta buzz anything off of it people were saying you gotta cut the tabs off you don't gotta cut the tabs off totally fine um, actually I'm gonna use those tabs to mount my uh, catch can not catch but yeah my overflow tank or something I don't know they're useful I'm just gonna start doing some mock-up now but what I'm gonna do is I got some iron and well this is for the test stuff so but I'm gonna make some L brackets the L brackets are gonna hold the fan on, and basically, that's how I'm gonna do it. Four tabs, two on the top, two in the bottom, shouldn't go anywhere. So that's that's the game plan. So I'm gonna mark this fan up, drill some holes, 
tap it, and should be money, money. Okay, so I got an update. You know, I start going, I'm drilling holes, doing this, figuring whatever, whatever, and I really like fabricating. I get lost in it, but I'm really bad at it. So, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> but look what I, I just made two little L brackets, and this is what I'm gonna mount it to. So, but they're not, they're just for mock up. I'm gonna clean them up, make them look a lot nicer because they're just kind of two ugly L brackets at this point. That, but I got to measure and drill holes, but just look. So, these are my L brackets. So, just one and two and all they are so fans don't come into contact anywhere with these guys so that's totally fine i'm going to do two more at the bottom to keep it from flapping around but these will mount right where the holes are on the radiator and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold them up to the radiator and find out where i need to make my holes so they can drop down but i didn't want to do the zip tie thing i didn't like it so i felt like this was going to be better but that's where i'm at so far it's coming along it's coming along nice so all right, so that is the finished product. I mean, it's not finished. I take it back. That's like what it's gonna be. So we got two L brackets on the bottom, two L brackets at the top, and they're all good to go. So all I gotta do is paint them and burr them, and they'll be done. But I have to test fit it the last time to make sure it all fits, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, and these, I gotta clean these fans up. It's not done. That stupid pick apart has to mark everything. So we'll figure out how to get that off too. So here it is installed. The Reservoir tank is not mounted and I don't like this one. It was smaller than I thought it was gonna be but It'll work for the time being. I think I need a bigger one at that. It's um Kind of dinky, but it's bigger than the one from LMR. So yeah, whatever. So this is what it looks like. So there's the fans There's my cute little Ford Motor Company down there <laughs> But that's it nothing crazy. So I'm gonna paint those brackets black. This is all dirty because I've been grinding and stuff, but yeah, that's basically it. It goes down, frees up a bunch of room down there. I can spin this thing whenever I want. So that was pretty straightforward. Um, it just took a lot of work, if <laughs> that makes sense. Um, it's just lots of cutting, lots of measuring, lots of grinding, all that kind of crap. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We're back. Okay. <laughs> so um, I did some stuff. Uh, it is the next day. I didn't lie about that, but I started going and it's not very interesting. But, so you know those fan controllers I showed you at the beginning of the video? Well, it was, took a lot of uh, brain effort to figure out how I was gonna mount those because they're a little bit bigger than they look on, um, well, they're just bigger than they look. So I did find a couple spots to put them because I'm going to have one controller per each fan because those, this is what I read, is that they're used for fans that draw 33 amps. So you're supposed to use like a 40 amp breaker or a 40 amp fuse for one, all I know is they can handle around 33 amps. And so the combined load of both these fans is could be up to 40 or 50 amps. So I just decided I might as well do one controller per fan. It cost me 20 bucks, right? So finding a place to put both of those things is kind of annoying. So let me show you where I put them. Okay, so we are under the car. This is the core support. And here's one of them. So here's the radiator, this is where the radiator sets. So this part, piece of the core support, this is where I mounted one of them. And this will be the passenger side fan. I'll just hook up into here and then the power wire will go to the battery. Okay, and so now the driver's side. So here's the turbo piping. This is just the other side. So there I mounted this one right there. And yeah, I mean, it'll just, the plug will go up and into the, uh, to the battery, pretty simple. So I mounted those two things, that's all I've gotten done. I just had to think about it for a while and really decide how I was gonna do this. So now that they're mounted, I can start wiring and that's probably one of the easiest parts. The other thing I did is I tested the fans to make sure they're spinning the right way, you know? So they're spinning counterclockwise so the fins is actually pulling air, it's not pushing air out. <laughs> it's nice, on the back of the fan it has a little arrow to tell you which way it goes, so. But I tested them, and just for reference, oh, if you're doing this and you don't know, because I couldn't find any kind of diagram or anything to say what was power and what was ground, um, terminal one on the plug is ground. So you have the little pigtail, there's a one and a two. Terminal one is um, ground, and you'd think, hey, it's a black wire, you should have known that. But on this side, there's two yellow green wires, so <laughs> I had to test them to figure it out, but yeah. So number one terminal is the ground terminal. I would have liked to known that. No one would have told me. So I though I tested it. I just took my wires and um, stuck it on a battery until it spun the right way. 
<laughs> which is pretty um, redneck, but yeah, I don't care. So I'm gonna mount this thing in there. I'm gonna loom up this wire that goes to the, the fans and start, start wiring everything together. So this pigtail harness that plugs into the uh, fan controller, I'm just gonna, I'll put a little diagram up, but I'll explain it real quick too. But this little 18 gauge wire, this is what the pulse width, this is the signal wire, this is the PWM wire. So that's all that is. So then the outside red wire, that goes to your fan positive. So on your fan, the positive wire. And so the outside black wire is your fan ground. So where your fan grounds, you ground it to this. And then the two center wires, so the red one goes to your batter, fuse battery. I'm gonna use a 30 amp fuse. And then the black one goes to chassis ground. And that's all those are. And so then the, that fan controller has full control of the fan to pulse width modulated up to wherever it needs to go. So that's how it works. So that's really what I gotta wire. I gotta wire one wire from the car for, to pulse width modulate both these controllers. And then I need to wire both of them to the battery, ground it, wire the fans into it, and We'll go from there. Okay, so real fast too, I wanted to say, the, so the wiring on the fans is, um, it's pretty close. I think it's 10 gauge. It, I, I'm pretty sure it's 10 gauge. So the wiring has 10 gauge on the fan, and then the pigtails for the fan controllers have 10 gauge wiring too. Oh, the wonders of wiring. All right, let me show you what I got done. It's just wires, lots and lots of wires. Okay, so we got the num the fan controller for the passenger side. So, oh, it's dark. Okay, there we go. So we got our pulse width modulated, and it goes to a white wire, and that goes all the way over. All, all these wires do. This is the pigtail from the fans, the original fans, and it worked out really well. Um, and so now, all I can when I want to take the electric fans off, I just unclip this, and the whole mechanism pops out. I mean, it's kind of hard to see. But I loomed this and uh, yeah, but so I thought that was kind of neat. So what I'm going to start doing is like uh, looming these all together and working my way over until I get to this one. But there's still lots to do. So I originally was going to go with breakers, but I um, decided to go with these fuses just because they're smaller. Because <laughs> um, those breakers are kind of big. For now, these little fuses, my ATO fuses, I can just have them rest right here next to the battery and then if one pops I can just pop it open and change it real fast. It's gonna come up through this little hole right here and that's where both my fuse holders are gonna run right next to the battery. So I'm gonna keep wiring and wiring and wiring. It's so close, but it's so far all, the, all at the same time. So everything is wired except, except the pulse width modulate. So I gotta take it from the car and bring it in, but I have every, all the boxes are grounded or the fan relays, Fan controllers. The fan controllers are all grounded. They're wired up. Here is the two power cables. There are my two. That looks like an O, but it's a D, I swear. D for driver, and then P is on the other side for passenger. And so that's all done. There's all the wires. Ooh, they look ugly. They're all hanging down. But here is my pulse width modulated leads and so I'm gonna take it and go through the fender well up and around and come out through there somewhere so that shouldn't be too hard it's just doing it so I'm gonna take that and I have multiple uh, different pulse width modulated outputs I can use the one I'm going to use is um, VVT because I will never use VVT variable pull valve timing ever so, and fan control is on the other side of the car, and I don't want to go up to the whole other side of the car just to wire that in. So, I'm going to just take this one for VVT on the expansion harness and bring it over here, and then we can pulse width modulate this thing. And I will, I'm going to give it a, a test rip, and hopefully it worked, and we did it right. Woo! So, it's finally wired up. That took forever. But I do want to test and just make sure the fans are gonna work. So I'm just gonna go into the tuner studio and test this pulse with modulated. And if you hear the fans on the video, we did it right, or I did it right, or something happened, something good happened. So let's go for it.
Can you hear that? Ninety-five percent duty cycle. It's pretty loud. I did it. <laughs> I was uh, at first. It wasn't like happening, but so if you're doing this, it takes those fans a second to click on. It's like really slow, which is good. It doesn't have that like crazy amp draw that like kills stuff. So it just goes. <laughs> just like that so it, it's pretty nice and it pulls a lot of air at 95 it's like pushing my hand back almost <laughs> so um i just had my little test with it and it stays at 180 so i just needed more fan power at idle that's all i needed so you live in your learn so check out what i did before i end this video um i loomed it all up well almost all of it so there is the controller and then there's the loom that goes all the way up and around to my other part and so yeah that's how I loom the bottom of it and then just comes up to these guys and I'll probably stick some loom around here I'll probably undo that later on in uh, but the two fuse holders are down in there and you can't really see it I kind of wanted it that way all right and there is my overflow tank and I filled it up already but yeah that's it nothing special just a nice little tank and uh there's the finished product focus fans so pretty stoked about them they turned out good so that is electric focus fan with pulse width modulated um, controllers and all that good stuff you get at the junkyard everything together was like 100 bucks so fans were 80 and the controllers were 20. <laughs> so and then wire i guess if you want to add wires and stuff like 10 bucks and connectors so 120 bucks and now I got crazy awesome cooling abilities like a brand new car So I'm pretty pumped about that. So it all turned out good and Yeah, so if you found value in this video, um, make sure to like comment subscribe and I'll catch y'all on the next one